Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chris again with Better Editor, and today we are going to learn to do this. That's right, we're gonna get into some text effects, figure out how to put it on screen, and how to animate it in an easy and fun way. Also, you get some free presets. So to learn how to use text in Adobe Premiere, I created this silly little video. Okay, we've seen the video, so now what kind of text are we gonna put on this? Well, let's grab the type tool and do it. So, run over to your tool panel, grab the type tool, and then click anywhere in the program monitor. This red box will pop up letting you know that you can start typing. And I'm going to type, this is Earth. Very profound, I know. Okay, now, the font isn't exactly what I'm liking for this, so I'm gonna click my selection tool and then double click, this is Earth run over to my effect controls and twirl down this text effect. This is gonna show me all of my text options. Right now I'm using Proxima Nova Black. I'm gonna leave it in the Proxima Nova family and go to Thin. That looks pretty good to me. I do wanna center it up, so I'm gonna center justify it and then grab it again with my selection tool and holding control, I can snap it to the center of the frame. Great. The next thing I want to do is mask out each one of these words. So this is Earth. And I'm going to do that by selecting my text layer, coming to the text effect, and then clicking this square. That square creates an easy mask that I can then drag over the top of this. And this little handle that I just messed with adjusts the feather of the mask. Since we're working with text, I don't need a big feather, and I'm going to close it to nothing. The next thing we need to do is duplicate our text layer two more times so we can have three layers for three words. So this is done. Clicking the middle layer, we're gonna select is, click and drag around these points, and then move them over. So now is is selected. And then clicking the top layer, I can come back to my mask, slide it over, and grab earth. Perfect. Okay, now for the fun part. We have text, but that's not very exciting. So we can go over to effects and then twirl down our better editor presets and open up the text animations. And for these first ones, I wanna use a fast slide in. So select all of your layers and drop that preset on there. Okay, that's kinda of cool. But let's make it a little bit better by syncing it up to the music. So I like, if you listen to this, that little voice, that eh, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm not as pretty, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So we're gonna start it right there. We can see that's where the first eh comes in. And then the rest of these will follow something like that. Let's listen to it and see how it looks. So Earth seemed to come in a little early to me, so I'll move it over. All right. Now we gotta get the text to come out. So I'm going to cut these layers, delete that, and select them again and say text slide out. That looks pretty cool by itself. All right, now I wanna show you the other set of animations that we have, these pop in effects. For that, let's come over to our type tool again, grab it, Click anywhere in the program monitor and type, it is big. Again, super profound. Now we have a lot of work that we've got to do with this text because it is all sort of out of whack. So to fix that, we're gonna to go to our selection tool, double click our text. The first thing I wanna do is with everything selected, I'm going to adjust my line spacing just to get it in the ballpark of where I want it. And the next thing I wanna do is big to me needs to have a heavy weight. So I'm gonna grab this and say black. And now I'm going to run back over to all my text, select everything and scale it up. Okay, that's pretty fun. Let's see, I need big to be bigger. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay. And let's grab this a little bit, move it down so it makes about a square. And then we'll select everything and squeeze it all back together. Okay. That looks fine, nothing crazy. And let's center it. Center justified again, and with that, I will grab my selection tool and move this again to the center of the frame, holding control. Okay, so again, we need to mask out our it is big words. 
It's the same process as we did earlier, so I'm just going to run through it real quick. Make the mask a little bit bigger. We're in good shape. Going to save so we don't miss any of our work. If something crazy happens, like a worldwide pandemic, you never know. And now select all of your layers and come in and drag the text pop in effect. Whoa, threw everything out of whack. That's OK. We're going to fix it. Grab our playhead and move it over. We're going to park it on this part of the frame where all of the text lands. The reason I'm doing that is if you look at this, this effect has been placed on the motion tab. And yes, there is a difference between motion and vector motion. It's important that we set our playhead after the last set of keyframes when the text lands. So to make our effects pop in the way that we want them to, we need to set our anchor points. So select your top layer, which should be the word big. And we're going to click on the motion tab. And if you look carefully right here in the center you'll see these little crosshairs and anytime my mouse goes over the top of it my cursor changes whenever the cursor changes this lets me move my anchor point without moving the layer i'm going to click it and drag it to roughly the center of the word big and then do that for each of the other words now you don't have to get this in the exact center of the word it just needs to be close and now if we play this back that looks pretty cool the little glitch effect helps sell everything I like it. Now we need to animate this one off. And to do that, I'm going to select everything again and add text pop out. Now, I should go ahead and tell you it would have been smarter if we added the text pop in and text pop out presets at the same time, but I wanted to show you how they worked initially without adding the pop out. The reason it would have been smarter is now all of our anchor points have been reset back to the center of the screen. So if we play this back now, you can see the text comes slightly off screen over here instead of coming straight from the center. So let's grab this. Again, we're parked in the middle of where these keyframes land. It's important that we're seeing the height is 100 right here. If we're parked right here, it's going to throw everything out of whack. I'm sorry I've used that phrase a lot through this video. So let's grab this. Same thing. Let's move our anchor points. Word big, and we're done. Now let's see how it animates out. Again, looks pretty cool. We could have some fun with this, though, and stagger when these words pop off the screen. The easiest way to do that, because if we trim this, those keyframes disappear. So the easiest way to do that is actually to add an edit on all of these layers and then move them to where we want them. So with that selected, I'll make big pop out, I don't know, maybe here. We'll come over a few times there and then this right there. So just a slight stagger to give it a little more visual interest. And maybe let's move it over one time and have it all end at the same time. All right, this is feeling pretty good to me. So let's watch the whole thing again. All right, that was Earth, and I think we are done here. I hope you guys enjoyed using these text animations and that you'll download them and use them in your own projects. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And also, if you have any ideas for content you'd like to see, drop me a comment.